Black holes are the most enigmatic and fascinating objects in space. These cosmic monsters are shrouded in mystery and have captivated scientists and stargazers for centuries. From their mind-bending gravitational pull to their physics-breaking properties, black holes are a true wonder of the universe. In the latest twist of events, the James Webb Space Telescope finally captured what's inside a black hole, and it has baffled scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Join us as we venture deep into the abyss to learn more about this latest intriguing revelation made by the iconic telescope. Black holes are mesmerizing astronomical objects that have captured the imagination of scientists and the general public alike. A black hole is an area in space-time that possesses such a potent gravitational force that nothing, not even electromagnetic radiation or light, can break free from its grasp due to insufficient energy. Black holes are formed from the remnants of massive stars that have undergone gravitational collapse. When a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer counteract the inward pull of gravity, causing it to collapse under its own weight. The collapse continues until the star's matter is concentrated in a highly dense region, known as a singularity, surrounded by an event horizon. The singularity lying in the center is a region of infinite density and gravitational curvature. Our current understanding of physics breaks down at the singularity, making it difficult to describe what happens there. The event horizon is a boundary around a black hole beyond which nothing, including light, can escape its gravitational pull. Once an object crosses the event horizon, it is said to have entered the black hole, and its fate is sealed. There are different types of black holes based on their mass and origin. Stellar black holes are formed from the remnants of enormous stars, while supermassive black holes exist at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way. Intermediate mass black holes and miniature primordial black holes are two other theoretical types. Black holes have a strong gravitational pull. As objects such as gas, dust, or even other stars come close to a black hole, they can be pulled into an accretion disk, a swirling disk of superheated matter orbiting the black hole, before eventually being consumed. Black holes can also generate powerful jets of particles and radiation. The universe is peculiar, and one of its biggest secrets is the biggest black hole in existence. These celestial objects are some of the most colossal single objects in space, but is there a limit to their size? It turns out that there is indeed a theoretical limit to the size of black holes. The largest directly observed black hole with a confirmed mass is right around this limit, and it's a monster named Ton, 618. This behemoth weighs roughly 40 billion solar masses and has a radius of over 1,000 astronomical units. To put that in perspective, if the black hole were placed in the center of the solar system, by the time you reached Pluto, you would be less than 5% of the way from the center of the black hole to its edge. Ton 618 sits about 18.2 billion light years away from Earth and powers a quasar, one of the brightest objects in the universe, with the illuminating power of 140 trillion suns. Quasars are actually supermassive black holes that are consistently feeding. These cosmic vacuum cleaners become tremendous by merging with other black holes and constantly feeding on surrounding material. However, the feeding rate of black holes sets the limit on their size. These celestial giants can only consume so much material in a given amount of time. As material falls in, it heats up and releases radiation, creating a quasar. But that radiation heats the material itself, preventing it from quickly falling into the black hole. This self-regulation prevents black holes from growing too quickly. Astronomers estimate the maximum mass of a black hole by taking that feeding rate and multiplying it by the known age of the universe, giving an estimated maximum mass of around 50 billion solar masses. However, that is only an estimate. There may be other, more exotic ways to create large black holes, such as from the direct collapse of large clumps of dark matter in the early universe. So, what's the biggest black hole in the universe? It's Ton 618, but there may be even more massive black holes out there waiting to be discovered. 
Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope has made a discovery that's out of this world. The telescope has detected what could be the oldest black hole in the universe, located at the center of a baby galaxy that formed just 570 million years after the Big Bang. This cosmic giant weighs in at a staggering 10 million times the mass of our sun, making it a supermassive black hole. But what's even more exciting is that this could be just the beginning of a whole new era of black hole discoveries. The James Webb Space Telescope has the power to peer back in time to the earliest stages of the universe and unravel its mysteries. And with this latest discovery, astronomers believe that even more black holes could be waiting to be found. During the cosmic dawn, a period starting about 100 million years after the Big Bang, countless black holes could have formed and gorged themselves to ever larger sizes. But astronomers are still scratching their heads over why there were so many of these black holes and how they got so big. Lead study author Rebecca Larson, an astrophysicist at the University of Texas at Austin, explained, This is the first one that we're finding at this redshift, point in time after the Big Bang, but there should be many of them. We're just starting to be able to study this time in cosmic history this way with the JWS. I'm excited for us to find more of them. Born from the collapse of giant stars, black holes grow by ceaselessly gorging on gas, dust, stars, and even other black holes. Some black holes emit light that telescopes can detect, turning them into active galactic nuclei, or AGN. The most extreme AGN, known as quasars, are supermassive black holes billions of times heavier than the sun and shed their gaseous cocoons with light blasts, trillions of times more luminous than the brightest stars. But how did these gluttonous space-time ruptures form so suddenly across our young cosmos? It's a mystery that astronomers are still trying to solve. They are also on the hunt for even younger, hypothesized primordial black holes that came into being very soon after, or even before, the Big Bang. Astronomers use the James Webb Space Telescope's Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI and Near-Infrared Camera, to spot the oldest known black hole in the universe. By breaking down the light into its component frequencies, they found an unexpected spike indicating the presence of a black hole beaming out faint traces of radiation across the universe. There are two leading theories for how so many black holes grew so quickly after the Big Bang, that they are the remains of giant stars that formed far faster than the ones we know today, or that billowing clouds of incredibly dense gas collapsed suddenly to form the all-consuming singularities in space-time. Rebecca Larson suggests that it's likely a Population 3 star, the first to ever exist in the universe, that exploded and left behind a black hole around 200 million years after the Big Bang. This black hole then accreted a lot of material quickly to swell up to the size researchers observed. The researchers will continue scanning for even stronger signatures of light from the distant galaxy to uncover more clues about how the perplexing black hole at the galaxy's center formed. Every new discovery teaches us more about the universe's earliest days and most bizarre inhabitants. The researchers who found the latest black hole published their findings on the preprint server RxIV on March 15th, but the research has not yet been peer-reviewed. Still, this discovery is a testament to the strength of the James Webb Space Telescope and the thrilling new discoveries that lie ahead. Another recent discovery revealed that the object previously mistaken for a radio galaxy is actually a black hole pointed directly at Earth, and it is nothing short of remarkable. This supermassive black hole, located in a distant galaxy, has shifted its angle by a gigantic 90 degrees, which is a puzzling phenomenon that has left physicists bewildered. The black hole is now spewing radiation at near-light speed, and its powerful jets of high-energy particles, known as relativistic jets, are pointed directly at Earth. This shift in direction is so significant that the object has been reclassified as a blazar, a type of galaxy whose jets are pointed directly at us. As a result, the object's jets have undergone a dramatic shift, according to the researchers who conducted the study. The research team used a wide range of observation techniques, from radio waves to gamma rays, to explore the object in question. 
they discovered that the object had characteristics typical of blazars, such as brightening and dimming similar to a blazar and similar jets. This led them to conclude that the object was most likely a blazar. The researchers also observed two lobes, areas where an AGN's jets interact with the surrounding gas. These lobes are evidence that the jets have, in fact, changed direction. Interestingly, the lobes are very old, indicating that they are relics of past activity, while structures located closer to the nucleus represent younger and active jets. The cause of this great shift is still a riddle, with theories ranging from a galaxy merger to other large galaxies colliding with the object and jostling its orientation. Further observations are needed to untangle this bewitching mystery. This discovery provides us with a glimpse into our dynamic and ever-changing universe. Scientists may have just made another groundbreaking discovery that could change how we understand black holes. For the first time, there is indirect evidence that large amounts of invisible dark matter may surround black holes. Dark matter is an elusive substance that makes up about 85% of all matter in the universe. Unlike the matter that makes up stars, planets, and everything else we can see, Dark matter doesn't interact with light and can't be seen. However, it does interact gravitationally, allowing researchers to infer its presence by looking at its gravitational effects on ordinary matter proxies. In this new research, scientists from the Education University of Hong Kong used stars orbiting black holes in binary systems as these proxies. They watched as the orbits of two stars decayed or slightly slowed by about one millisecond per year, while moving around their companion black holes. The team concluded that the slowdown was the result of dark matter surrounding the black holes, generating substantial friction and a drag on the stars as they whipped around their high-mass partners. The team used computer simulations of the black hole systems and applied a widely held model in cosmology called the Dark Matter Dynamical Friction Model. The simulations revealed that the observed orbital decay rates matched the friction model predictions. The observed orbital decay is around 50 times greater than the theoretical estimation of about 0.02 milliseconds of orbital per year for binary systems lacking dark matter. This is the first ever study to apply the dynamical friction model in an effort to validate and prove the existence of dark matter surrounding black holes said Chan Man Ho, the team leader and an associate professor in the Department of Science and Environmental Studies at the Education University of Hong Kong. The team's results, published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, helped to confirm a long-held theory in cosmology that black holes can swallow dark matter that comes close enough to them. This results in the dark matter being redistributed around the black holes, creating a density spike in their immediate vicinity that can subtly influence the orbit of surrounding objects. This research gives scientists a new way to study dark matter distributed around black holes that may help them to be more proactive in their search. The Education University of Hong Kong team intends to hunt for similar black hole binary systems to study in the future. The study provides an important new direction for future dark matter research, Chan said. In the Milky Way galaxy alone, there are at least 18 binary systems akin to our research subjects, which can provide rich information to help unravel the mystery of dark matter. This discovery is a notable step forward in understanding black holes and the elusive substance surrounding them. Previously, in October 2022, James Webb Space Telescope detected strange molecules swirling around supermassive black holes. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope found odd carbon-bearing molecules called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAH, swirling around supermassive black holes in three active galaxies. These compounds are typically found in star-forming regions, but scientists previously believed they couldn't survive in this harsh environment. The discovery is intriguing because it suggests that the radiation near these black holes has altered the properties of the PAHs. This could impact the usefulness of these molecules as biological building blocks and make it difficult for astronomers to evaluate star formation. Ismael Garcia Berniti, an astrophysicist at Oxford University, led a team that analyzed observations of three active galaxies gathered by JWST's mid-infrared instrument. The galaxies are NGC 6552, 
NGC 7319, and NGC 7469, all located millions of light years away in various constellations. PAHs are molecules made up of carbon atoms and are found everywhere in the universe, making them helpful for star formation. They emit strongly at infrared wavelengths detectable by MIRI when illuminated by ultraviolet radiation in starlight. Gars Bernit's goal was to determine whether PAH emissions in the dense, ultraviolet-rich environment at the center of active galaxies were the same as emissions in calmer, star-forming regions. The process of gas falling onto a supermassive black hole can release torrents of ultraviolet light that cause the PAHs to glow. Previous models predicted that the harsh radiation around supermassive black holes would destroy all PAH molecules. However, Miri discovered that larger and electrically neutral PAH molecules were abundant in the central regions of all three galaxies studied. This indicates that radiation had eradicated smaller, electrically charged PAHs. The larger PAHs may have survived because they were protected by dense, enveloping clouds of molecular gas. This loss of more minor, electrically charged PAHs is problematic for tracing star formation, as these molecules are typically found in star-forming regions. But studying a larger sample of active galaxies with different properties could help astronomers better understand how PAHs survive in these environments and their specific properties in the nuclear region of galaxies. This knowledge is crucial in characterizing the amount of star formation in galaxies and understanding how they evolve over time. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we're sure to uncover more fascinating and puzzling phenomena, each as awe-inspiring as the last. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.